Good morning, everyone. This is Rita here, and I thought I would do a little tour of my craft area. Um, this is the room that I'm going to redo. As you can see, everything is just a ray right now. Um, little cabinet over here, chairs. Um, that was my punch needle cabinet. I had all my thread in. It's now um, card making stuff like glue sticks and things like that. And then over here is a little paint table I used to use for painting, which I put my computer on. Over here in these little baskets, I have all my stamps, um, all my uh, Stampin' Up stamps and from other um, companies. And then over here, I started putting paints and some stamps on the wall that I use. I know this is quite the mess, but I'm the kind of person like if it's a shelf and I can use it, I hang it up. Uh, some curtains over here. This is the little uh, table where I have my sewing machine. In the center here, which is behind my desk, I use to cut my papers when I turn around to cut and have journal cards and things like that stacked in that little um, basket. Then over here, I have a rolling cart. You can see the floor. That's where I have all the trouble. I pulled up some of the tiles, the old tiles, and that's what's under it, this old wood. And um, I keep rolling over it and they're supposed to be coming to fix that real soon, I hope. Uh, so then I have a rolling cart over there and I'm just not fixing up anything because I want to redo the whole room, repaint it and all that. So over here I have the little drawers that I guess you get those little, um, at the Hobby Lobby, the little, um, Oh, what are they called for scrapbooking paper? You store, I took all the scrapbooking paper out of them uh, when I started doing uh, journals and now I have supplies in there. But some of the glues and things are over there that I don't use so much. Then this is my self-made table, uh, temporary, until I get it figured out. These are all the little baskets underneath, all the little totes that I uh, put my ephemera in, butterflies, words, tags, all that kind of stuff. And then up here I have some stamps and punches, um, another place where I have stuff. I mean, just stuff everywhere. It keeps going. I do have a TV in here and my table is resting on um, these file cabinets, which have stuff in them. And I can't get to them because the, the rolling cart is always in the way. So here's where I have all my pens, scissors, and laces and things like that inside there. Then as you go over here, I have a wall, a door, a closet, and I have one of those um, holders for uh, shoes. And in there is mostly um, punches. I have punches in there and a little hair dryer and odds and ends. Then behind here, as you go around, this one here is full of books and totes with ephemera that I don't use a lot of it because I don't do junky junk journals. I, I would love to do a junky junk journal, which I keep these supplies like I have um, down here. You can see I have old bingo cards, old um, uh, puzzle pieces. This is all music paper down here on the very bottom. Uh, baskets full of other little ephemera pieces. Sorry silks hangs up here from the top of the, there's my, some of my grandkids, my foster daughter. Um, then here, as you go around, there's more junk. These are stencils hanging on the wall, which I can't get to because there's so many in front of the ones I want. I don't want to take them off. Then as I come around here, uh, this was more, more my quilting era. This is where I kept all my pens, uh, rotary cutters, pencils, uh, chalk, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. I just have it in here because I don't have a door where it used to be. Then over here, this little cabinet used to be full. There's a couple journals sitting up there that I took everything out because I'm moving it all. Okay, so then as you come around here, this goes into my living room and it's, it's still quite a mess right now uh, after my mom left, but um, and here's where I enjoy watching TV over there where the quilt is and there's a little lamp there and another lamp and another lamp. 
scissors and everything are in that little turnaround. And then um, there's a bag there with all my handwork in it. This is a basket here. These are left over from uh, the birthday party. A basket full of fabric in there. And as you walk down, this is my quilts, uh, my collection. I, the trunk, I'm sorry, not to go too fast. The white trunk is also full of quilts, but most of those are handmade, hand, not handmade, hand stitched by hand. They're not uh, done with the sewing machine. These in here are done quite a bit by the sewing machine. So then as you go around this way, we come through my kitchen, which is kind of a country kitchen. I don't even know if I cleaned it up, uh, but um, there's just, I have, a table here in the center, like an island that I made. Um, all my cabinets are new on the bottom and then uh, the tops part is um, all just shelving. I didn't want cab cabinet doors. So this is all shelving here in this part of my kitchen. This will help you get to know me a little better. Over here, I am coffee dyeing and they're drying on the the top of the stove because they have those uh, windows in them, the plastic, and you can't um, put those in the oven. So then as we walk through here, this is my, um, what they used to be, used to be a mud room. This house was built in 1935 and this was the um, end of the house. Actually, it was the back porch right here, this part. So there's a door there that goes down to my workroom. Over here is all my Cricut and my printer and all that kind of stuff that I use to make um, my digitals with. Then as we walk through here, this room here is my laundry room. This is my work room. This is where I do all my painting and all that kind of stuff for the shops that I have. And it's not finished. I mean, we just put that door in to go to the back of the house. This is not, this room will be nice once, <laughs> once I get it cleaned up. And, um, uh, let's see, and we walk through here. This is my little sewing message. My soul is fed with needle and thread. I love that. It's a hallway. Here's a quilt on the uh, wall that I'm working on. This is by hand, it's appliqued. Then as you walk in here, this is my quilt sewing room. So I have tons of that fabric there, bags with fabric in it. Granddaughter brought brought over her own basket for her stuff. This is piled on from the other room because I was starting to move it out. All my um, books, which I gave away at least half of those. Um, those are vintage threads there. And as you go around here, uh, my bulletin board, my sew machine, my serger sew machine. Uh, this is the outside. This is my ironing space over back door. This is my cutting room, cutting uh, table. Then as you come around here, this is my um, fabric stash. Every um, box has, or every tote has a tag on it that says what color it is. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe, I don't know if I can make it bigger. But anyway, I had um, tagged everything. So like there's green or red or whatever the colors may be. And then that's just a piece of uh, foam board that was in here. And, you know, I went shopping at Joann's and uh, there's some yarn. So all this is kind of a mess too right now. I did have this pretty well cleaned up. They redid the, um, I mean, repainted and fixed the ceiling. It was all weird. And um, so this is it. And I thought I'd just give you a little preview of what my life is like at home. And... Um, I hope you enjoy this little tour. Once I get everything all back to normal, then, oh, and this one here, this bookcase here is full of books too that are for my painting. You know, when I do um, specialty books, uh, custom made order books, and th those are all stored there. So um, yeah, this is what it is. All right, I will see you in the next little video. Hold on. Good morning, everyone. It's Rita here. And um, it's almost uh, noon time, but uh, I'm going ahead and do a video for you. Today is February 9th, and um, I'm working on the garden journal. 
I did decide that I want this to be a flowering type journal, not, uh, you know, vegetables. I mean, there's, you know, you can have gardening as vegetables and then also as flowers. So I thought I would, instead of combining the two, I thought maybe just all flowers would be really pretty because it is lavender and um, I think that'll add a lot of um, character to the, the journal itself. So um, I did get all my pages trimmed up and then I will go through these and divide them up. I think I'm going to try three signatures because um, either eight to ten pages in each signature. So I wanted to add a little bit of extra uh, to this journal, not just totally um, the digital papers but other papers as well. I don't know if I'm going to add coffee dye paper because most of them have the coffee dyed or printed inside papers. So I don't think I need to make too many plain ones because I will have plenty of think uh, journal space uh, for that. I pulled out, um, this was out of a uh, garden book, uh, Period Gardens is the was the name of the book. And so I pulled out some flower um, pages and like this one has a lot of lavender in it. This one's just pretty, and then this one um, also has lavender. So I thought I'd fold, like take three of these out. We'll pick three of those to put in the each signature. Then in this, um, this is a garden dictionary, and I pulled out the pages I could find uh, that would come out of the book in one piece. <laughs> so um, I thought that was kind of nice. It has the state and what, you know, the frost areas, and. That kind of thing. This is flower pot and garden design and so forth. Okay. Um, also, at the beginning of the video, I showed you my craft room, and um, I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind, but um, I just gave you a walkthrough of, of my this craft room, um, my living room where the sewing, uh, my hand sewing takes place. Uh, all the way through my kitchen and then into where my computer and my uh, Cricut is. And then I went to um, my workroom downstairs that's for painting and all that kind of craft stuff and then into my sewing room. So I just thought maybe you would um, enjoy seeing how I live and you know, we, we talked uh, each other all the time as far as uh, videos go, but we don't really know uh, much about our personal lives, but um, or how we arrange things and what it looks like. I did see G Gail Augustinelli do a walk through her uh, her room, and um, I've seen it before, and it is huge, and it's very nice and very organized. Mine is not. Mine is a mess, but I'm I'm hoping to get better. Okay, so I also pulled out um, from um, Edith Holden book. I thought I'd put some of these pages in. I kind of was hoping to um, put these together to fit. You know, they're they're bigger, so I don't know um, where to cut the best way. I want to get a lot of the picture in. And I like to have the whole word of May in there. So maybe I can just mark that with a pencil and cut. where I think that most of the, the flowering is gonna show. And then it comes all the way down to here. Okay, that's that page. And then this page, um, I was thinking about putting the, this on a pocket, maybe. This one I was thinking about putting it in, making a pocket. So let me hold that one out. And then we can do this one. This is the other side of that because I want to put two together. Okay, 58, 57. So I guess maybe it would go like this to this. 
So if I just make those exactly the same size, I'll be okay. Okay, enough. Okay, so those two. Um, let me cut these down real quick. sticks out from that oh yeah quite a bit all right I want to make it a whole page so it's on one side we'll put them together with uh, washi tape scraps for anything. Maybe I'll keep the numbers. Sometimes I like to keep the numbers. Otherwise, well, I could stamp across that. It'd be kind of cute. Yeah, I'll just keep them for a while. All right, so this here, I'm going to put washi across here. So I hope everybody's doing good. Um, everything is good here. I have um, been making some arrangements to, um, this one's a little wider, to not be so busy. Uh, so I feel a little relieved this morning. I called um, our guild president of my quilt guild and told her that I no longer wanted to um, do programs. It's just a very, very, it's like having a job. It's not, and it is volunteer, volunteer work. And I don't, you know, I've always been a volunteer for whatever. Oh, well, that's weird. Yeah, maybe I'm not going to use that one. It's too weird. Um, I've always volunteered for all kinds of things, you know, throughout my life. Um, I'm sorry, hold on, let me see. If, I'm trying to find something white enough in the right washy color. That one's got little animals on it. strawberries and butterflies and mushrooms I guess yeah I think I like this one with the butterflies on it better um so anyway I did call <laughs> you know yesterday was glue today it is washi tape my gosh I guess I am gonna have to get some new Okay, let me just line that up again. Ah. So hopefully they will find somebody. Um, I sent an email to one of the girls in our guild and to see if she would be interested. And um, I'll have to wait till she gets back with me. If not, they're just going to have to announce it at the next meeting. I don't want to leave them high and dry, and, I, and I'm not. I mean, I have people booked for um, several meetings, but I can't do it next year. And the, the thing is, is um, this is not very straight. that you have to book a whole year in advance to get some of these people. Now, of course, we have had, you know, all this um, problem with the virus and all. People have just canceled 
the ones we had for this year have canceled. So, okay, so there's a page there. And let me get, whoops, maybe one more page. Um, well, the yellow page would be pretty. Or I can go this way. Either way, it's going to be yellow somewhere, huh? Okay. How much are we going to lose if I do it that way? So I don't have to cut as much. I guess it doesn't really matter. If I cut it this way, I'll have a little more on this edge too. Okay, so let me do that real quick. some good little pieces I can use somewhere, someday. Okay. And I guess I need to put some washi down that to keep it from splitting apart. I tried to get this um, book out, these pages out, by cutting the thread, and it was very weird. I mean, it's it was uh, sewn in so tight that I just couldn't get even a sharp uh, blade under it. Okay. I think it's gonna need it on the inside too. Because when we, now I'm, oh, too late. It's all paper too, I can't even get it off. Um. like food. Hmm. This is kind of pretty. It will at least um, cover the page there. I'm uh, the crack. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to get some more um, washi. I didn't think I was that low on it. Maybe there's not that much on a roll either. I don't really know. So, I don't know what I was talking about now. I got on the subject of this washi. Well, my guild, I guess. I was just um, commenting that, you know, with the virus, we've had lost so many people that you know, we're part of the programs coming. It's just too much. Just too much. Okay, so we've got two of these pages. Um, so I have three of these, which I believe they're going to need to be cut down too. Yeah. Well, I think I'll cut down the bottoms so that the wording is not an issue. Hold on, let me get this lined up. Okay, Let's see if they stick out. Okay, they do. So, it's okay if they stick out just a tad. I think I'm gonna do a hard cover with this, with the spine. I'm not used to doing that, but if I'm gonna do three signatures, one folded, file folder is not big enough. Well, I guess I could make the file folder 
make it a rounded edge, which I kind of like that too. So I might do that. It's just easier. It's just getting the uh, the signature sewed in so they look nice. But then again, I can always um, uh, cover it with lace, which I thought I'd make this lacy on the front. Okay, so this will be smaller pages. I just wanted to put a variety of things in here, not just the kit. Okay, so that's going to be... I don't think it would look good going that way. I'm going to kind of divide this up so that it a little on both sides. Okay, yep, there's one. Okay. This I don't know. This one would be okay going both ways, I think. Mm, not really. We'll just go in the orientation it's supposed to be. Have a little variety, right? get a little of both pages. I'm just going to cut this with scissors. If I can. Sometimes these books are like um, extra long and you can fold them, make pockets. that part. I was thinking I could make a pocket out of it. So, it was not cut straight from that edge. So is anybody starting any new journals? I don't know how long this is gonna, this journal from start to finish is gonna take. But I'm gonna try to relax and take my time working on these. Turn the heater up a little bit now it's too hot i'm dying i have my final shirt on because it's chilly out okay so we get three one two three this we've only got one two um i had another couple more pages of lavenders here but maybe i'll just um save these this would make a nice little journal card card here, I think. As well as that one. Let me see if I can't do something with this as a journal card. I might have to back it, but... Oh, and I, I plan to get um, either a purple or lavender thread to sew with on these. 
some of them anyway. I may not do all of them that color, but I thought that would be kind of fun. I don't, um, I don't think I want to ink with the different color. I'm going to ink with the regular. Okay. Anybody making a Valentine's Day journal? I think I'll just keep this for something else. Okay, okay. So then I found this little Ring Around the Rosy page. Um, it's kind of skinny though. wasn't creased um, it could almost be a little pocket maybe I'll glue it onto something heavy hmm let's see if I have uh, like just a little journal card that's it's too small. I don't think that one would fit in the book. Nope. Oh, that one's kind of pretty to put in there. Can cut some cardstock. I just thought if I had something that I could just use that I wasn't going to use. This is, oh, this is spring. Oh, I might keep that. Hmm. One of these menus was autumn, summer. Oh, I guess I can use all those. I was thinking I had the fall. Just glue it to this. And I can trim it down if I have to. I just want to put some, you know, uh, ephemera that is not kit ephemery, ephemera, because we all have that, right? glue down straight because my pages aren't straight either uh, darn it I wasn't thinking I should have let me see if I can just trim this around I'm going to cut the kids' head off that wouldn't have worked Sometimes this is just the way I do things. I'm sorry. Okay. As you see in my video that's attached to this in the beginning, um,
Okay, I'm gonna cut a little bit off of the sides here because it's too long. Yeah, that makes a cute pocket, I think. So I think this might have been one that Mary sent me, but that, I love the blue. That's what I was looking for, blues. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I think I need that. And get rid of this. And ink this. I might put something else on here. I don't know. Let me um, punch it. Uh, let me get... Oh, sorry. I think I'm just going to do a little, little punch here. Oh, I know. Oh, darn it. They're not in here. Uh, did I bring them in? Oh, yes. I got my new scissors. Let me show you how those work. They came at like 8.30 last night and dropped them off. Okay, so right now I don't need to use that, but that's there for a pocket. And I made some plastic bags to put stuff in as I pockets and tags and that's separate because I get them all over the table and I can't <clears throat> I can't even see what I have. So let me show you the new scissors. Okay. That's those are two new. Can I use this tags too? Um, okay, let me find something that needs to be cut like a stamp. I guess I can do any old paper. So pretending that this is an image. It seemed like I had an image that I did. Hold on. This is one I did. Let me see if she has another square like that. And then I can show you like this one. Okay. So I don't know which way is the best way to, to do it, but I did it like this. See, you can see the scalloped edges, which are like a stamp. wondering now oh there goes my timer okay so can you see that how it does that scallop I don't know, okay, so if, the, if it's turned this way, you get that way, what if I, i just curious, if I turn it this way, it goes the other, um, that looks more like a stamp to me, don't you think? Go in the opposite direction. If I want it to look like a postage stamp, I mean. Or no. Yeah, the postage stamps have uh, let me see. Stamps. Oh, that's the wrong kind of stamps. Okay, here's a real postage stamp. And it's like, it's more pokey out here. Just gonna ink that so you can see. See what I'm saying? That looks more like a postage design. And I think that's what I did on this one because it looks more pokey. And this one looks more decorative. But it's still better than just a plain old zigzag, I think. So I think it dressed them up, these little cards anyhow. Yeah, those I, I think I 
might have just got so close to the edge that it it was like a straight cut instead of a curve but anyway that's the fun of it and it is um i was looking to see if i had let me try it on these little so these these are quite large a little bit large it looks more stampish to me okay um these are on amazon and they're called scalloped edge scissors uh, scalloped edge pinking shears i think on amazon if you you know if you have to have those i i've always just wanted a pair because um every time i want something to look like a stamp it doesn't look like a stamp i don't want those in there i want those in there where's the other one there it is it doesn't look like a stamp so you know that's how it is okay so that's it i guess for this video i um appreciate you coming along and um, sharing, getting these uh, pages kind of ready. And I'll see what else I can pull out, maybe get these together to put in the signatures. And then we'll start making things. I did, um, uh, let's see what I do with those. I did some envelopes, getting them ready. I don't know what I did with them, but I have Oh, up here. And I also have a bunch of postcards that I want to pick out to put in the pockets in the journal. All these are all vintage postcards from forever ago. I don't know what I did with the... I had three envelopes that I was going to make a folded pocket thing. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Anyway, I'll find it. We'll do it uh, in the next video. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye.